At Norfolk Southern, we build ties, wooden ties on tracks that span 20,000 miles, connecting us to ports, highways, and warehouses, and invisible ties that are just as strong, connecting us to communities, the land, and each other. This is one of those connections. It's called the North American Amazon, the lower Mississippi alluvial valley, a huge swath of land that, thanks to the Mississippi River, was among the most nutrient-rich soil on Earth, a forested region once a home to 25 million acres of bottomland hardwoods, cut down to 4 million today. If we were standing here in Yazoo County 100 years ago, we would virtually be standing in a forest. There would have been several species of oaks, cottonwood and cypress and maple. Uh, we're here on our family farm in Yazoo County, Mississippi. The farm has been in the family since pre-1900. We've had quite a flooding problem. It was a financial burden for us. My son lost his home. There are areas that should not have maybe ever been cleared up for farm because of poor drainage and lower ground. When we overcleared, we lost a lot of wildlife habitat. It really affected uh, migration patterns for neotropical birds. It affected endangered species like the Louisiana black bear. It certainly affected water quality, so uh, the need for reforestation is great. Norfolk Southern has a broad uh, sustainability program, but it's tied to our principal vision that uh, we need to minimize our impact on the environment while protecting our communities and shareholders. The size and scope of the project with Norfolk Southern is to plant 10,000 acres and plant 6 million trees. This 10,000 acres is the largest single effort of reforestation in the country. And uh, Norfolk Southern, for its investment, will get carbon credits, about a million tons over uh, a period of the years that the trees are growing. And so this represents a, about 20% of a year's carbon emissions. What we're trying to do is, is kind of mimic what happens naturally in a forest as they regenerate. So these cottonwoods provide a shade very similar to what you see in nature that does provide ideal growth for the hardwoods. After approximately 20 years, there would be two thinnings of cottonwoods, roughly at year 10 and again at year 17. There'll be less cottonwoods per acre, which provides more room for, for increased growth, increased height for better quality trees. It's great for wildlife. It's great for water quality. It's great for carbon sequestration. It has tremendous benefits for any environmental factor you can come up with. And these trees were just planted two and a half years ago. This is an instant forest. My granddad bought this farm like 60, 70 years ago. And my dad actually grew up hunting and fishing here as a little boy. We have planted a little over 1,100 acres in trees. The trees have provided us a more reliable source of income than the crops we had planted in the past. The railroad has been a big part of the history around here, as has farming and timber industry. Both have been around forever, and the farmers need the railroads, and the railroads need the farmers. We're determined that future generations, our grandchildren's grandchildren, can look back and say Norfolk Southern did what it could to protect natural resources, including water and the air and the land. It uh, makes me feel really good to know that uh, I work for a company that truly cares about the environment. People who look back at us will say we were good stewards of, of what we had in front of us. Everything we do is connected. Let's all do our part to create a better world and let the people in our lives know that Norfolk Southern is in it for the long haul. <laughs>